Good morning. This is Title Talk 2.0. All right. We are now hopefully coming to you live with sound. Hopefully. Thank you, Carol, for yes. giving us the update yes. on that so we didn't do another you know, 20 minute talk and yeah. have nobody. You guys can hear us now this time. Uh, we are Inspired Title. My name is Drew. And my name is Amy. We are coming to you here from our studios at uh, Inspired Title Group in Palos Heights. We are using one of our uh, convenience closing offices here that we share in the building and um, getting ready to uh, kick off the holiday season. Yeah. We're talking a lot about uh, yeah. what's coming up in the holiday. Uh, like you guys, we're, we're winding down a crazy year? Some Crazy is a good word. Would you call it crazy year? Cra I would say crazy, busy, mm -hmm. kind of blobby. Kind of blobby. But, blobby is good. Yeah. But we're, we, you know, we're getting through it. We, yeah. it's, it's, sure. We've yeah. been lucky enough to be busy and the busyness has come with some stress, but I think yeah. we're, we're, we're weeding through it and we're, you know, exci excited about the growth that's happening, but. We're, we're dressed for our holiday party. We have a holiday party today, we COVID do. style. We don't, bit. yeah, we don't normally dress like this. Right? <laughs> we should, maybe. We should. I mean, I wear pugs all the time. And I wear T-Rex sweaters all the time. And too. in case you missed, I kind of this talked about. Important. This is important. This is super important. So super. my, um. When I first started here, my coworker Miguel gave me the nickname Princess. Yes. Because obviously I get everything I want all the time. Everything. Everything. <laughs> so, you know, to commemorate that, I got myself a tiara. Well. For my Christmas hat. Thank That's you, awesome. Dollar Tree. That's awesome. So we are uh, coming again to talk about uh, the title world. We're coming here to talk about some fun facts. We got some good questions and answers today. Uh, we're talking a little bit about our Inspired Title Giving Back. I think there's going to be some some really great things to talk about there and uh, planning for next year as well. We have some pretty exciting opportunities coming up to uh, share with you guys as well. We do. Um, you know, our, our company highlights and quotes of the day and, and all of that fun. So um, I think it's, it's going to be a... Uh, a crazy next couple weeks, yeah. and uh, I think it's going to be something that we are hoping that uh, we we leapfrog into next year with yeah. some excitement and some some positivity and some joy. And you know, as as Amy said, we we've been we've been really busy, and we're thankful for that. We we were uh, deemed as uh, essential. essential workers. Yeah, which, which was something like it was weird when this first started. Yeah, because like yeah, for sure. You know, when COVID first happened, they were saying like. If there were cars parked in businesses, it didn't seem as essential. Like there yep. was going to be people coming in and like shutting down. But yep. then we found out that title companies actually are essential. Yep. Um, we were driving around with like letters in our car in yep. case we got pulled case over got because mm -hmm. it was just weird. Like it's something that if you would have told me 20 years ago that something like this would be happening in the world, I would, probably yeah. would have laughed in your face. No way. Um, and I'm thinking about like what happens to the next generation. Like. Yeah. How are they going to remember this and what are they, is this going to be their, it's just, it's weird. Like my brain goes through these like roller coasters of what it is very, reality is. It is very bizarre. It's a yeah, very reality. This is our reality. We're, we're definitely crazy. thankful to be as busy as we are and, and we're excited to uh, be coming here live to you guys today. Mm -hmm. So without any further ado, we will kick off our wonderful start of fun facts, fun facts. of the day. Our fun facts of the day. I gotta start with my national days. It's kind of caught on. It's kind of. You funny. always have those. I do. Those are always All right. Fun. So this one makes no sense to anything that in life, but okay. today is National Maple Syrup Day. Oh, I love. I maple know, syrup. and it brings me to the question of: Is it syrup or syrup? It's syrup. See, so I say syrup. Ooh. I know. Do you and, say milk? Okay. No, I say milk. Okay. How do you say W A F F L E? Waffle. Say it again? Waffle. Waffle. Okay. How do you say it? Waffle. All right. My husband says waffle. Waffle? Yes. <laughs> so, so if you have not eaten breakfast yet this morning, I would suggest making a waffle. Or an omelet. An, an, no, I like omelets. With maple syrup? Well, you could. People No, yeah. gross. Omelet. So pancakes... <laughs> Waffles, go go make yourself one and enjoy. And use the syrup. Some syrup on syrup. The maple syrup day. Yeah. S e a r u p. Syrup. Okay. The other the <laughs> other I'm done with that. So National Day number two is Wright Brothers Day. Today is National. The Wright Brothers. The Wright Brothers Day. So ah. because their maiden voyage. Yep. Of the airplane. Yep. That dro that uh flew did, didn't drive. It and flew it twelve seconds. 120 feet in 1903. So this was the maiden voyage of the first quote-unquote flight. What um, year? 1903. So, in 1959, Dwight D. Eisenhower decided to make it a national holiday of Wright Brothers oh. Day. So today is National Wright Brothers Day. It is. Huh. 
Good old, what are their 17th? names? Orville and Wilbur. Well, Orville's a very popular name because Redenbacher made pop. Club. Yes. So I honestly, I almost wrote Redenbacher day. after I wrote that just because of know, that. Right? Yes. Yeah, you can reference that. For and sure. this, I have one more just because I had okay. to do it. Right. Um, so because because holidays this year are probably going to look a little different for everybody. Yeah. Um, usually board games are a thing that yep. might get pulled out and, you know, cause chaos and yep. wreak havoc and among holidays. Um, Monopoly, Uh-oh. A, a game, I hope you all know that, was originally designed to show the dangers and pitfalls of concentrating land in private monopolies and to demonstrate that the economic, economic value of land should belong to all members of society. So, like, the goal of Monopoly, you know, is to own the world, Mm -hmm. right? Like, that's how you Mm -hmm. win. So, everybody's job is to make sure nobody owns the world. Because as soon as somebody gets a Monopoly, they start putting hotels and houses on those places, and you're like, I can't land there, it's game over. It's kind of reality in, you know, every day, right? And that's why I thought this would be a cool thing to kind of talk about, or kind of mention, because some families' Monopoly is, like, a go-to game. Joe, Joe and my mom and I played this a couple years ago, and we have not pulled it out since because it costs... <laughs> Does it cause war? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was Pugopoly, of course. But... <laughs> but... Okay. It, it was a version of Monopoly that... My turn, because you just said Pugopoly, and you cannot say Pugopoly... You didn't bring the one. ...any other time. Did uh, you? What, huh? Carol's thing? I, I have it. Just oh, just settle sorry. yourself down. So, my fun facts... It's not going to be as good um, as mine, but you can try. They never are. I know. No, they never are. I, I I'm always second. Carol, uh, I say princess. omelet. No, I say omelet. It's wrong. Omelet? So, omelet. Omelet. No, omelet. Omelet. Sausage. So, Do you say sausage? Uh, sausage. Sausage. I say them both. You have no idea. You, you're you going through like a, you're going through an identity crisis right now with, with your T-Rex sweater. Yeah, leave my T-Rex sweater alone. Come on now. Everybody, don't be, you're, you're just jealous you don't have a T-Rex sweater. So, you know, people often talk about, um, you know, you were, uh, when you were a little kid, you were up in the backyard and you're playing and, you know, you're digging a hole and, uh, you know, your grandparents or your dad or somebody would say, you know, what are you doing? You're digging a hole to China, right? Yes. You can actually dig a hole to China. Through the, However, oh. you have to be in Argentina to do it. Because you wouldn't have to go through the center of the world then? Is it like because of the... Why is it that when I have fun facts, you have questions? Because it, cause I'm... Every, I don't question you. No, do, do you know what I mean though? Because like if you're on the exact opposite side of China, you would have to go through the molten core of the earth. He has to deal with this every day. Okay. I'm I, done. I move on. Wow. I'm sorry. Your your facts make me excited. People are actually uh, commenting now. We're getting Illinois, not instead of Illinois. And I, I like Illinois. Illinois. That's a good point. A lot point. of people say Illinois. Illinois. Yeah, they pronounce the S. Illinois. Yeah, uh, I, I've definitely heard the S and pronounced. Where are you guys from? Illinois. My when I first started dating Joe, my dad used to call him Joliet Joe. Joliet. Joliet. He didn't say Joliet. Yeah. He said Joliet. Joliet, and he also says number three instead of three. Oh. Do you I, think he said that intentionally, though? Yes. Okay. All right. But now it's a bad habit. Okay. Sorry, so I'm done. So you can dig to China if you go through Argentina. Um, let's also it. talk about um, women, all the ladies out there. Uh, and, Amy, this includes you. Think about this. This is this was a little disturbing. Oh, God. Women digest most of the <laughs> lipstick they put on. <laughs> number Reason number 712, I don't wear lipstick. I mean... You digest it. Like, wow. So, I mean, I stopped a few years ago because it was really just disagreeing. With <laughs> it was not, it was not yeah. working down no. there. That's the T-Rex flame thing. That's the, you know, it disagrees with my stomach. Yeah, you digest it. But there's a trick, so you don't. I don't want to know. It, okay. What is it? You said you don't want to know. Go ahead, baby, they do. Okay, so you put your <laughs> finger in your mouth and you pull it out and it takes out all the lipstick that's like on the inside of your mouth. It was a dance trick that we had. Every time we went on stage, people used to put on lipstick, smile, and you got that, like... That's free. We're not even going to charge you guys for that. That fun fact was free. (laughs) So for all you people, you just put your finger in your mouth. It's gross right now. I think I just got sick. And then you pull out, and then it takes all of the goo from the inside of your lips off. And so then when you smile... Could you just do us all a favor and stop (laughs) (laughs) But now that masks are a thing, everyone's saving money on lipstick. That is true. They're just drawing it on the outside. <laughs> so now it's not digestible. They're just drawing it on the outside of the mask, which is which it's is quite really hot. It is. It's getting. Or I should stop talking because it's making you me please nervous. Please do. So the average worker, and, and this disturbed me, and I'm now going to walk around the office and pay a t- little bit more attention. 
the average worker, and we know this firsthand and factually, the average worker spends 50 minutes a day looking for lost files or other items. <laughs> that is so true <laughs> in our building. <laughs> right? I'm glad it was that fact. My yes. brain was going somewhere else. Bathroom. I was oh. for sure going to say that people spend on average 50 minutes in a toilet. And why do they always take their phone with them? Always. We have to talk about that. Um, but anyway, that is... It, yeah. So it's keep, scary. Keep an eye on the staff because they're that's what they're doing. Um, and then my final fun fact for today, the last fun fact is right here. One cigarette, okay? The contents of one cigarette contains enough toxic ingredients to possibly kill a person if you took those ingredients and you just injected them directly into the bloodstream. One cigarette. Oh. So guys, stop smoking. Do us all, you know, do us all solid. But, okay, I'm not gonna say that. I was gonna say if you inject anything in your bloodstream, what would happen? Okay, and ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Thank you so kindly for <laughs> listening to our fun facts. We're going it's to really do something like very different, and, uh, you know, maybe maybe next time because, you know, Amy turns fun facts into you know questions and answers of the day. Here, you you, know. you decided to do Q and A's, so uh, I'm yeah. just helping you out. Well, that is our You're fun welcome. fact segment, uh, folks, and we we appreciate uh, you guys staying you know staying here with us and listening, even though there's been some some sidetracks to this. Sorry, um, we do need to stay focused, though. We always have to stay focused. We have to keep moving and and stay focused. We hope you guys have uh, gotten some great info from this. We are we are so proud and thankful to be able to bring this to you guys mm -hmm. each and every week and share some time with you guys. We we appreciate our viewers. We appreciate our the uh, the input that you guys give and and sharing some time with us. Um, we we are, are so very blessed in so many ways and we are we're thankful for for all of it mm -hmm. and. Uh, if you guys are wanting to use ITG, if it's if it you're selling a house, if you're buying a house, let your professionals know. Mm -hmm. Let your realtors know to to write ITG Inspired Title Group in the contract that you know you want to go through Inspired Inspired Title Group. If you're buying a house, talk to your talk to your attorneys, mm -hmm. talk to your professionals. I want to use I want to close my deal at Inspired Title Group because you know, they're, you can they're, do they're that. There are Absolutely. deal bifurcations that we are working with and doing. I think it's going to become more of a thing the more yeah. you know time progresses. Yeah. And we're stay here. tuned next week or in two weeks and find out what bifurcations are all about. Yeah, yeah. We're here for you guys. Um, so, so if you want to use Inspired Title Group, we would love to work with you guys. Um, we're, we're definitely a, uh, a, a family-oriented, friendly organization that is all about the the people and, mm -hmm. and giving back. So. You know, as always, if you guys have any questions, please email us, team at inspired-title.com. Uh, somebody will get back to you quickly, whether it be cool. Amy, myself, or somebody from the team. Um, we are we are Indiana, Illinois. But we've got a lot of connections and links to different professionals to help you guys out through the, the difficult times that you may be up against. So um, that's pretty much what I have. I think that's great. So, uh, in, you know, enjoy your holiday season. Until next time, my name is Drew with Inspired Title. And my name is Amy, also with Inspired Title. Guys, remember, we are the uh, title company that cares, and uh, we may not be able to predict, predict the future, but we know we can protect you from it. So, until next time, guys, take care. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.